What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Rain Gang. Welcome back to a whole nother video. Today is Wednesday afternoon and I am home and I'm going to change out this shift bracket, the plastic piece. We are going to go to this billet aluminum. So let's get to this video. As you can see, first thing first, we need to take this uh, plastic piece off right here. All right, guys, been that we got the plastic piece off. Next thing we need to do is remove all three 10 mil um, bolts. And also we need to remove this spring. And also we're gonna loosen up this knob right here. And on the back side, you have a 13 millimeter nut with a, um, I think a 10 mil, uh, a wrench can fit on the 10 mil. I don't know what you would call it to fit on the side to keep the bolt from uh, spinning. And also don't forget uh, your zip tie. So let's get to it. All right, guys, as you can see, we finally had it uh, wiggled out. Um, now, what I need to do is just remove that bolt right here. I need to remove that. And uh, be careful, you're gonna have uh, washers uh, on both sides. And then we're gonna just do our comparison and go from there. All right, guys, we're moving pretty quick with this. Um, as you can see, this is the comparison right here. The only difference is this is plastic, this is billet aluminum, this is more stronger, uh, this is more durable, this is extra reassurance to make sure this bad boy don't break on you. Um, and yeah, let me know if y'all had an issue with y'all shift bracket or anything of that sort uh, before. Uh, now we're just gonna go in reverse order. Uh, we got the shifter thing right here, the stud. Make sure you put your washer uh, before, which anyway is gonna go like, right, right like that. And then we just gonna, you know, tighten her up and then uh, put her in place. All right guys, so we finally got it through. As you can see, it will go like this. We just gotta put our three 10 mil bolts back and then our spring uh, going up there. And uh, that's just gonna be pretty much it for that part. All right guys, so we got her all buttoned up. I started from the middle, went from the outsides and then made sure everything was tight. Everything is like nice and stout. I am gonna get a zip tie run through here so we can have everything original. So y'all gonna see that. The only thing I have to do is just put our spring back and uh, that's just pretty much it. Tell me what y'all think about this little small upgrade. I think it looked 10 times better uh, compared to this uh, plastic piece. Um, that's just my opinion. Y'all let me know what y'all think below. Would you run this billet aluminum uh, shift bracket or would you keep the original stock? Y'all let me know down in the comments below. And um, that's pretty much it. All right, guys, so we finally got it all on. Got the spring going, got the zip tie neatly on there. Look original, you know, and it looks very, um, Beautiful, great to be honest. So I like how it turned out. All they have to do is just uh, shift through the gears and uh, tell you how smooth it was. All right, guys, we're gonna see if she shift uh, smoothly. I don't know how I'm. Uh, I gotta have my hand on the brake. Can't move really forward. All right, guys, I'm trying to give y'all a good angle. All right, low, high. Yeah, she's back, baby. Trying to give out a mechanical look. First it was uh, getting hard, but it's, it's, it's going, it's shifting in gear smoothly now. It's shifting in there fine. As you can see. Trying to get 
get stuck up a little bit, but I think we just got to get over there. That's pretty much it. I want to throw these on, but I'm going to paint this like a different color. Can y'all guess the color I'm going to go with? I'm trying to do a secondary color. I thought about keeping it all black and stuff, but I might end up uh, changing it or whatever. Uh, but I got it. My band had got this stuff, but hopefully it's, hopefully it's the right stuff. I, I, it is. Um, but look at this too. I hope it's the right one. All right, guys, so that's going to be it. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and join the garage. I appreciate it. And thank you for being a part of my humbling journey of riding this can air renegade or any other bike or any other trails or mud parts i may come across if you have the same interest or somebody you know had the same interest share this video to them share my channel to them and man let's grow together let's expand and uh hopefully soon let's get another bike or something i had a players but um i sold it um i kind of had a regret but I don't have no regret. And the reason why I kept the Renegade, because, you know, of course, this is my baby. It's like my first bike. But if I were to get another bike, I'm just, you know, end up keeping it and having somebody ride with me. And uh, that's just pretty much it. But anyway, this upgrade is just for um, reinsurance, uh, just in case you don't want that plastic uh, stock bracket to break. Um, I like it. It looks way better and cleaner. Uh, Stay tuned for more smaller upgrades, maybe exhaust, maybe some tires, maybe the whole package. Might have to go out uh, one month if I feel like it. Um, but I uh, hope you enjoyed. And I do need to get my winch uh, straightened out, especially if I'm going to go on a trail and stuff uh, by myself. I need to get a winch straightened out because the winch saved my ass one good time and nobody was like around me like I was in the middle of nowhere. So I need to look for a synthetic um, rope or something. Y'all let me know, man. Let me know. I need a winch set up. Uh, and uh, that's pretty much it. I might add this on my story on Instagram. And follow me at Instagram at Renegade uh, for more insights. So uh, let's continue to grow. And uh, that would be it for this video. Uh, stay tuned for another one. i meet y'all and see y'all there. And stay tuned for my shorts. Make sure you, you know, like it, share it, and all that. And I appreciate it. And let me know what y'all want to do. I want to listen to my folks that's, you know, subscribe and all that. Let me know what y'all want to do. I know I had a couple people wanting us on for this can am so I might have to do that. But y'all let me know what y'all would like to see more. And that's just pretty much it. And, yeah. But before we go, let's admire this Renegade right here. This beautiful machine. I uh, can't wait to I clean it up and all. It's really dirty and all that right about now. But it's going to get uh, cleaned up or whatever. Anyways, look at it one more time. I think it's so clean. I can't wait to just clean this thing up, man.